Hi, I'm Carol Reynolds with the Dallas Winds, and I have the great pleasure of speaking once again to a composer that's close to many people's heart, a rising star, as they say in the musical world, and a heck of a nice guy, Mr. Omar Thomas. I'm really glad because now we're dealing with a piece for this concert that is just so powerful based on something so powerful. And I mostly I just want to ask you to tell us about it. How did it unfold? When did it unfold? Um... I can't imagine what it would have been to have written this piece of music. Sure. You know, so what's really interesting about this piece is that the hardest part about writing it was actually agreeing to, you know, because I, I was contacted by Dr. Gary Shallot, Western Kentucky University, and he had told me that their group was selected to perform at the CBDNA, uh, CBDNA Southern Conference that year, which was in Charleston, which was right after the shooting had happened. And the uh, performance would be at the Gilliard Center, which is basically kind of across the street and diagonal from the church. And he just felt a great weight and a burden to honor the Charleston Nine. And, and he contacted me and he was telling me all of this. And by this point, I had not really written a, a, a large wind ensemble piece yet. So I was kind of panicking, you know, that's, it just feels like so much responsibility to take on your shoulders. And, um, and I didn't want to do it at first. You know, I just thought it would be too much. And, um, and you know, and I spoke to my dad about it. And my dad was like, you better do it. And so, <laughs> and so I did it. And um, the rest is history. You know, once it sunk in that Gary was going to invite members of the church to the premiere. And um, I, I, I knew exactly what it needed to sound like. I knew that it needed to be sounds and experiences and rhythms and harmonies from the AME experience. And I knew that it needed to be anchored by the Black National Anthem, Lift Up Your Voice and Sing, because there are just so few symphonic settings of that wonderful, powerful, important piece of music. And from then on, I just kind of ran with it. So the hardest part was the initial hurdle of agreeing to do it. And then you looked to the lyrics of the Black National Anthem for the title. How, when, how did that come about? Well, I knew that I wanted to use some part of the lyrics as the title. Um, and so I went through and I was just looking for a snippet that felt very poetic and that kind of encapsulated moving forward, um, catharsis, uh, the next step, and um, of our new day begun just kind of rang out to me. Um, so I, I put that on the top of the score. 